If you want to understand total internal reflection then this is the video for you. Before we go further however it's important that you have an understanding of critical angle. If you're not sure what critical angle is please check out the earlier video which explains that and then come back to this one. Remember critical angle is the angle of incidence that gives rise to an angle of refraction of 90 degrees and it only happens when we're moving from a more dense substance to a less dense substance for example from glass into air. We've already got light here coming in at the critical angle with an angle of refraction of 90 degrees. The question I want to ask now is what would happen if we increased this angle of incidence so that we go beyond the critical angle? So what we've done here now is we've got another ray of light and the angle of incidence measured towards a normal line here, the angle of incidence is bigger than the critical angle. When the angle of incidence was the critical angle, the light got refracted at 90 degrees. Now the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle, we do not get refraction anymore, we get reflection. So you'll notice there that this line is not refracted, but it is reflected and it stays inside the glass, inside the more dense medium. This is called total internal reflection. Total, because all the light is reflected inside, none of it escapes. Internal, because the reflection takes place internally, it takes place inside the glass. And reflection, because, well, it's reflection and not refraction. Now let's try a question. In this diagram, we have got a ray of light shining into a prism. Now we need to look at the angles very carefully. This is 90 degrees, this angle here is 45 degrees, and this angle here is also 45 degrees. That's very important. Now, our job is to determine what happens to this ray of light. Well, we can see it going down here. It goes through the normal line in red. Now, there's no refraction because it's along the normal line, and then it hits this surface here. So what's it going to do next? As is so often the case in questions like this, the first thing we need to do is to draw a normal line. So I've drawn the normal line here in red, and it's at 90 degrees to the surface. As you can see, the angle of incidence is now here. Now if you remember, for glass, we said that the critical angle for glass was 42 degrees. Now in this case, what is this angle of incidence? Well, if this has gone through vertically here, if this is 90 and this is 45, that means this angle of incidence is 45 degrees, i.e. it is slightly over the critical angle, which means we're not going to get refraction, we're actually going to get total internal reflection. The angle of incidence here is 45 degrees, so the angle of reflection inside must also be 45 degrees. Which means the ray of light will move across horizontally like this, until it strikes this surface. And as we did earlier, we draw a normal line here at 90 degrees to the surface, and we look at what this angle is. Well, if we think about the angles again, if this is 90, if this is 45, if the ray of light is coming horizontally, that means this angle of incidence is now 45 degrees, which means it's bigger than the critical angle, which means we don't get refraction, we get total internal reflection again. The angle of incidence here was 45 degrees, which means the angle of reflection here is 45 degrees. It's been totally internally reflected, all the light's been reflected, it's inside the glass, and it makes its way up like this. It goes through the normal line there. Now, because it's along the normal line, it doesn't get refracted, so it comes straight back out. So what we've shown here is that light shone like this, passes through this surface, is totally internally reflected because the angle of incidence here is 45, which is bigger than the critical angle of 42. It's reflected over here. Again, the angle of incidence is greater than 42 degrees. It's 45 degrees, which means we're going to get total internal reflection again, and the ray of light comes back out like this. And that's it for total internal reflection. There are more videos on many other topics associated with GCSE physics. Please take a look at those and also consider subscribing.